Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read and today I'm going to be doing the top seven comic books that are centered around love. So this list is going to be a list of a bunch of comic books that I've read so far that have love as like one of their main themes in the narrative. And yeah, some of these you will not expect and others you will definitely expect because they're, they're very obvious choices for this. But yeah, I wanted to do this because I love graphic novels and so I wanted to share that in a sort of like themed way. And so here we go. So the first one I feel like everybody is going to expect and that is Heartstopper. This book is just love in its purest form. It is so friggin' cute. This is following the story of Nick and Charlie. They're two boys who go to school together and Charlie is openly gay and he doesn't know what Nick is but he has the biggest crush on him. And so it's Charlie kind of like developing these feelings for Nick and figuring out what he is going to do about that. And it also follows Nick's perspective and how he is feeling about the situation and where they go from there. So yeah, it's super cute. There is a whole series right now. There's currently four volumes out. I believe the fifth volume is coming out this year. So yeah super exciting. Alice Oseman has like created a whole universe in this. She's written a bunch of like novels in the same like universe as well. So that's also very exciting. I have them on the shelf. Actually, yeah, they're behind me right there. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of them, but this one is so cute. Trust me, you will love this. Then we have Check, Please. So this is following a character who is named Eric, aka Biddy. And he used to be a figure skater, but he got a scholarship into school in college. However, he was a figure skater before, but his scholarship now applies that he has to be on the hockey team. And so it's him kind of learning to be a little bit tougher being on a team instead of just being like a solo sport. Uh, he's also very into baking, as you can see on the cover. So he loves to bake and share his delicious creations with his whole hockey team. And it's a very interesting one to see like the love of a team and the love of how they treat each other it's kind of like a family setting and just yeah it's it's really a heartwarming read and something that will be great for like hockey fans if you if you like hockey also there is lgbtq plus representation in this book so that's also something that i really love but yeah this one's a cute one there is only currently two of them out right now and they are following the first two years of college in the first one, and then the second two years of college in the second one. So four years of college altogether. Then we have Sega, and so this is following the love of a family, um, the love of these two to protect their, their daughter. So in this graphic novel series, their two races are at war with each other, and they have a child together and that is illegal. So now they are on the run from like interstellar space pirates and all sorts of people from either side who are trying to kill them. So yeah, it's them on the run trying to protect their family and they show that love every day by doing what they have to do to stay alive. And yeah, this one is such a fun series. It gets pretty vulgar at parts, but it's hilarious. It's definitely an adult graphic novel, so do not get this for your children. <laughs> but yeah, it's a great series. And volume 10 came out at the end of last year. So I still have to read that, but I am very excited. Then we have some DC graphic novels. And so I chose Green Arrow and Black Canary, the wedding album. So this is kind of like following their marriage story and how they got to that point. It's a great read. I personally love Green Arrow. I think he's a great hero in the DC universe. And yeah, I don't know. I just, there's something about him that I just really love. It might just be because green is my favorite color, but I've always been like a sucker for Robin Hood and he reminds me of Robin Hood very much. So yeah, I've always liked him. And then on the back, you have the two of them kissing while there's a bunch of villains coming at them. It says, till death do they part. That's hilarious. So yeah, this one's all about their shared love for each other. And then also kind of just a tie on. This isn't actually one of them, but this is Green Arrow, Black Canary for better or worse, which is kind of like a follow up one. <laughs> so 
I think that's awesome. And it says on the back, love is a battlefield. So that's hilarious. Now, this next one is kind of like a different kind of love. Um, it's more a love for revenge, and that's monstrous. So this is the main character, and she is out for revenge, and she is going to stop at nothing to get it. And so that's this one. This is also like a very like steampunk style series. Um, it's a little complicated to follow. There's a lot of like witchcraft and things involved in this one, but if you can grasp the concept, then go for it, enjoy it. I've only read the first two volumes so far. There are a lot out there. I currently only own three volumes, so I still need to keep going with it but this one was pretty intense. Another type of love is the love of friendship. And so this is Pumpkin Heads. This one is a really cute fall read if you want something for like the autumnal season. This is following two workers that are currently working at a pumpkin patch. And it's the two of them kind of like talking about their friendship as they go and explore different areas of the pumpkin patch and work different shifts in different spots. It's also talking about like their life outside of work and they're kind of like exploring the fact that maybe they might be more than friends, but they don't know because they've never taken the chance. And so, yeah, it's just, it's all set in like one work shift is the entire graphic novel. And it's really cute and something that will just, just bring a smile to your face when you read this one. And then the last one I have is a Marvel graphic novel, and this is Redheaded Stranger. And so this is about Mary Jane and Spider-Man experiencing Mary Jane coming back into his life after she was away for a while. The back even has Spider-Man as like a little Cupid. So yeah, it's, it's following an interesting story where he is rediscovering Mary Jane and his feelings for her. And also, of course, protecting her because Spider-Man's always protecting Mary Jane. Um, so yeah, that's just classic Spider-Man loving, loving Mary Jane. So those are all my different graphic novels that express different forms of love. Let me know if you have any other suggestions in the comments down below because I'm always open to more graphic novels. If you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon and a Coffee page, which I'll put in the description down below, as well as linked by my bookmarks. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I post new videos. I post my videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And until next time, keep on reading.